eskerrik asko Bilbo eta Bizkaia aukeratzeaitik, ze Global Assessment Networkaren batzarra gure artean eitxeko. I was telling you in Basque language that on behalf of the County Council of Biscay, I want to welcome you to the Villa of Bilbao, capital of the historic territory Biscay, and that at the same time we are very grateful to you for accepting the invitation to hold the Subglobal Assessment Network's annual meeting on Basque lands. I was curious to learn more about um, the importance of conservation for uh, people, so not just to protect species, but why ecosystems are also important for human well-being. And for that, this concept of ecosystem services is um, an essential bridge, if you like, between ecology and economics to understand all the different things ecosystems are doing for us, providing food, uh, water, all kinds of other resources, um, providing uh, environmental quality in terms of water purification, uh, reducing climate change, uh, protection against uh, extreme events. Also, cultural services are really important. All the, the non-material benefits that we get from nature, um, like recreation, uh, inspiration for culture and art. This meeting of the Subglobal Assessment Network is an opportunity for practitioners from all over the world to come together and to share their knowledge, their experiences, uh, their problems and their challenges as well in conducting assessments that are focused on really understanding the benefits that nature and biodiversity, that our natural environments bring to societies all over the world. Governments are seeing these assessments as increasingly important, um, and yet what we really need is an opportunity to bring people together to ensure that people are using the best practices, the best tools and the best approaches to make the most of the information that the scientific community has and to bring that to decision makers. And this network, that is exactly what it's about. These meetings are, we hope, vibrant, uh, enthusiastic and energetic opportunities for people from all regions of the world to come together and, and share their experiences. It's really important in these issues of the relationship between ecosystems and human well-being to understand multiple scales because the issues change with the scales. It's not the same thing looking at the global scale, at the entire biosphere, the entire uh, Earth's planet and looking at the local scale of a province or of a city. And uh, we found that this was really important during the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment and that's why we started this subglobal assessment network where we will do a similar assessment of the rela relationship between ecosystem services and human well-being at local scale and integrate that, those assessments with the work at the global scale and compare and to learn from the differences that we found across scales. Um, este proceso de la red de subglobals um, inició realmente en el 2006 después de que finalizó la evaluación de ecosistemas del milenio. Um, es un proceso que ha tenido unas reuniones anuales donde hay una red de una comunidad de personas que están haciendo trabajos en, en sus países a nivel local, regional, nacional. Por ejemplo, en el caso de Ruanda tenemos un caso muy, con mucho éxito porque descubrieron que un humedal que estaba degradado a medida que iban arreglándolo tenían más, más agua para hidroeléctrica y también los medios de vida de las personas que dependían de ese humedal se han visto beneficiados. Todo gracias a una evaluación a nivel subglobal. Indonesia es rico con la biodiversidad y la variedad del ecosistema. Así que el Millennium Assessment es uno de los importantes aspectos de cómo mantener los ecosistemas de superficie. Muy importante el sector productivo involucrarlo en los eh, temas ambientales, en lo que es la incorporación de la importancia de la biodiversidad en sectores productivos como en el caso del café. Bizkaiko ecosistemen ikasketa sakona egiten ari gara azkenengo urtetan, 2008an hasi ginen proiektu honetan eta hori izan zen itxarmen e, baten ondorioz e, Bizkaiko Foru Aldundia eta Euskal Herriko Unibertsitatea. Bizkai assessment that's really an important role and as we move into the inter intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services that is just starting and we'll develop assessments, regional and global assessments over the next few years, I think 
the Bitskaya ecosystem assessment will be really important in the context of IPBS. The Biscaya project uh, is playing a, a lead role uh, with regard to uh, how the findings of scientific research can be then transferred onto those who are supposed to take informed decisions. I just wanted to make you aware that this County Council of Biscay, since two, 2008, has been participating in and actively steering along the Assessing the Millennium's Ecosystem in Biscay Research Project under the scientific coordination of the Basque Country Universities. UNESCO Chair on Sustainable Development and Environmental Education, and also with the collaboration of the Autonomous University of Madrid's Social Ecosystems Laboratory and the Basque Country UNESCO Chair Center. Guk, daukagun berezitasuna proiektu honetan beste proiektuekin konparatuz da, eskala oso zehatza egiten dugula, bizkaia hartzen dugu, ez? Eta bizkaia barruan leku desberdinak. Orduan, ze berezitasuna daukagu, ba, nik uste dut importantena eta beste proiektuekin konparatuz honena, da politikoak eta teknikariak, diputazioko teknikariak oso oso implikatuta daude. Han zuzen ere, ikertzailekin batera lan egiten dute. The program is already Uh, reporting uh, data to the, to the process, to the global process, and uh, for us uh, that uh, gives us an understanding uh, opportunity to, to make a decision today that will affect our future. We have a uh, unique opportunity today to contribute in a very concrete way to uh, the operationalization of a, a new entity called uh, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Panel on uh, Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services. Uh, the meeting here in Bilbao is, uh, I think, a historic uh, meeting because we have the opportunity to link concrete projects like the Biscaya project uh, with uh, a, a network of projects uh, on how ecosystems are doing, how biodiversity is doing, and what policymakers uh, should uh, uh, decide so that uh, uh, biodiversity can be conserved and ecosystem services uh, maintained. Recordar que eh, eh, el bienestar humano depende de los servicios que los ecosistemas nos prestan y que la calidad y cantidad de los servicios que los ecosistemas nos prestan dependen de cómo la sociedad trata el medio ambiente. Ecosistema behar ditugu gizakiaren ongizatea mantentzeko. Ekosistemak e, degradatzen badira azkenean horrek e, bere mm, konsekuentzia zuzena izango da gure ongizatea ba, degradatzea ere bai. Therefore, and since we know that solutions will emerge out of the blending of knowledge, political decisions and responsible and sustainable management, we have embarked on a quest for quality knowledge of ecosystems and of our social and environmental reality, and also on identifying response options that will give us new approaches, ideas, and tools. All this will be essential for taking decisions more in line with the needs of the society and territory of tomorrow.